Welcome. This video is intended for all my patients going for surgery. This is how you should prepare preoperatively. Now, this video could also serve people that are going for a surgery with other surgeons, but please speak to your surgeons because they may have different recommendations. These recommendations are based on my own personal experiences and on some science. So six weeks before your surgery, any general anesthesia, you have to stop smoking. Smoking has been scientifically proven to cause changes in your lungs. And these changes can translate into complications during and after general anesthesia. So no smoking six weeks before surgery. Before any surgery, even if it was no general anesthesia, I want to stop smoking completely. Smoking does cause issues with wound healing. You don't want any problems like opening up of incisions or even bad scars after surgery. So no smoking two weeks before surgery. Herbal medications, I want you to stop this now, two weeks before your surgery. Some herbal medications can thin the blood and you may bruise more, you, may even, may, may, you even may bleed during your surgery. So try to stop that, that during that time. Since we're talking about bleeding, all blood thinners need to be stopped five days to two weeks before your surgery. Now, blood thinners can be very important medications that are preventing serious medical problems. So speak to your surgeon, me, and speak to your doctor who's prescribing you these medications to coordinate when's the best time to stop these medications. Stop all illegal drugs. Hopefully you don't take any illegal drugs, but two weeks is when I want you to stop all those drugs. Now, three days before surgery, alcohol. Alcohol can thin the blood and may increase your bruising uh, during and after surgery. So three to five days, I tell my patients, really stop that alcohol. 24 hours before your surgery, I want you to shave and tr uh, trim the areas. I don't want you to shave with a blade, I want you to use a clipper because shaving with a blade actually has been scientifically proven to translocate bacteria into your blood, it increases your, your bacterial load and may also create infections. So use a actually mechanical trimmer to shave the surgical area that we're going for. The night before surgery, you have to stop eating and drinking at midnight. It's been scientifically proven that Food in your stomach may also cause problems during anesthesia, so we really want to stop all eating after midnight and all drinking after midnight. If you're taking a medication in the morning of, you could take it with a sip of water, but that's really a small sip of water. Showers, the night before surgery, with our antiseptic solution is what we suggest. It will just give you a kind of disinfection from head to toe. It's always a good idea. The day of surgery, now there's a few things you have to do. Hopefully you've got a good night's sleep the night before. Now it's okay if you haven't, I know this could be a very nerve wracking kind of experience, you're getting surgery, but also could be very exciting. I've had surgery before, I completely get it. It could be mentally and physically draining just the day before, you haven't even gone in there. Don't worry, during surgery, if you're getting general anesthesia, you're gonna be sleeping and we'll take good care of you. But truly, get, truly try to get that good night's sleep if you can. Sleep early and get the morning of surgery, everything sorted out. You want you to bring all those medications that we prescribed for you with you to your surgery because my nurses and my team are going to be sharing with you how to use these medications and they're going to guide you post-op step by step. So bring that stuff with you. Also bring your garments. The garments, depending on your surgery, either bras or compression garments, need to bring that with you because we're going to be reapplying that during your recovery period and we're going to show you how to apply that. Also, I want you to be accompanied with someone after your surgery because someone needs to take you from our surgical facility to home. I need some, and if you're getting general anesthesia, someone needs to stay with you for the first 24 hours. This is truly for your safety. I want you to remove all jewelry, rings, necklaces. This is very important because it can cause severe complications, including burns in the areas where there's contact with metal no cream and no perfume the morning of surgery. It's okay, you took a shower yesterday, the day before, don't worry about any perfumes because that could also increase your infections. Uh, the creams can create a layer on top of your skin and when I put a disinfectant before your surgery, it may not get that skin that was creamed up. Also, I want you to set all your affairs straight. This is a procedure, a surgery that you're getting and hopefully it's gonna give you the rejuvenation that you want but you may feel mentally and physically drained after. So don't expect to be able to finish work at home or buy a house. I want you to get yourself in a, a state of mind that for the first two weeks after surgery, this is two weeks for you to relax, take it easy, and let us take care of you.